Hello Diamond Painting World. This is actually my first uh, YouTube video and I decided that I was going to do an unboxing to start off with. So I actually ordered this during AliExpress's brand sale which was uh, the end of August. So I actually ordered these on the first day which was August 28th. They shipped out on September 2nd, and they actually arrived today, which was September 13th. Now, I didn't go with the free shipping option. I actually paid for the e-packet, so uh, it came a little faster than it might have come out. I haven't actually really tried just using the free shipping option with AliExpress. Generally, the e-packet option is cheap enough it's only about three dollars so I don't mind paying it to have a package sent to me uh, within a shorter period of time I figure it allows less time for it actually to get beaten up by the postal service and less damage to the package now I've already opened the packaging because the way my camera is set up it's actually shaking the table and actually kind of made my camera go a little crazy um, so I have these two pack boxes that I received and they probably look very familiar to some of you guys out there. Yes, they are both from Who Can. And I'm sorry if you hear that noise in the background, that's just my border colleague, Guinevere. She's uh, very vocal at times. So I'm going to open the first packet, the first box. Now, there should be three paintings contained in this. I actually ordered two customs, and they haven't arrived yet. So, I'm kind of hoping that they get here soon because there is the possibility that I'm in Canada and there's a possibility that our postal service is actually going to go on strike at the end of the month. So, kind of hoping my customs don't get stuck in transit when there's a postal strike so anyway in the first box there was one canvas and one package of drills as you can see and then as usual with who can they are all in individual baggies and there is oh my god there's a ton of three ton and this is a full round drill they're all full round drill uh, paintings so that's in the first one and we'll go through them individually one at a time once i get them all out of their packaging let's see what's in here and there canvas number two papers it looks like it's just a paper i don't know if you can see come on focus focus it's a little bit bent back here but it seems to be okay. It's just the pa outer paper. It's not actually the canvas. And it's always who it can always um, puts theirs around a the foam core and everything is um, sealed. It's shrink wrapped. That's the word I'm looking for. It's shrink wrapped. So in this one, I've got two sets of tools. Uh, so far canvas is kind of stuck. Another canvas. And two more bags of diamonds. So actually in this transaction, usually you get a set of tools for each kit. However, this time it looks like they just sent me Oops, nope. They, they sent me three. There was one in the first box that got stuck. So I got a kit for each package, and each kit contains a diamond piercing pen with a three a drill placer, a nine drill placer, a pair of the silver tweezers, um, a white funnel tray, and two plates of wax, a large plate of wax. Now, this will more than do these three paintings. I actually have some wax that I've already started on um, from a previous three paintings that I've ordered from Huacan and 
I'm still working on the, the first half, actually. <laughs> I'm still in the first, like, quarter of the first half of the first piece that they sent me. So a, a little bit of wax goes a long way. So anyway, three kits. They're all exactly the same. So I'm just going to move these out of the way. And move these drills out of the way one at a time. And we'll go through the canvases. So the first one, it's a 35 color. I'm just getting used to which way this camera goes. There we go. Okay, so it's 35 color. It's a 60 by 30. And it is, let's see if I can get my camera to focus. Focus, focus, focus on that. It is, it's a pair of horses. Now they're multicolored. It's actually a very, very, very interesting picture. I was actually very happy with um, the way it looked. I liked the effect of them being very spotted and not very solid. Their names are gray. I get the paper off this so we can actually look closer at the canvas maybe. Oh, tape. I always forget that they tape their canvases closed after they're saran wrapped. It's really kind of cool because keeps everything wrapped up nice and tight and I haven't had any damaged canvases sorry from who I can't before so now that I have the saran wrap off it or the cellophane off let's see if we can get closer and do that so that's what the picture is the horses 35 color canvas looks great uh, my camera is going a little out of focus again there we go foam roller. I'm trying to keep these in case I have a use for them or after I finish the painting if I want to roll them up again and put them away but um, my cat loves to play with these things. So if they're left on my desk she will steal them and she will run off with them. She is just Everything that you don't want her to possibly touch, she gets into. And I'm just going to pull back this and take a look at the canvas. Oh my god, it is very, very clear. This is actually incredibly clear. And I actually thought this was... It is. It is round diamonds, but unfortunately, for and I actually for a second just the way it looks I actually thought they had sent me a square canvas sorry to focus but it's not it's just a gray area that's around those circles it looks like a grid but it's not a grid it's just the way the symbols are printed so it's actually in very good shape it wants to curl so let's do trick and I actually originally learned this trick from focus my camera there we go sorry guys Ella which was to pull back the papers because your diamond painting wants to be flat and there's no need to actually wait for um, them to be weighted under books or uh, put them under your mattress in order to make sure that they come out flat and straight. You can just pull back the corners. Oh, my camera is going crazy. Sorry, guys. I don't want to give anybody a headache. Every time I move, it's trying to autofocus. Uh, I'm not used to this camera. It's my husband's camera, and mine wasn't high enough resolution to do this. It was coming out really pixelated, so... I switched to his and I'm not used to the autofocus. So I'm just going to peel back this, this side. I'm going to try to make small movements so that the camera doesn't go crazy. Uh, I cut the tape, but I didn't take the tape off. So that's what just happened there. And pull that back, take a look. It's a lot of color. It's the top's all white, the mains are gray, 
the actual horses are like the major concentration in the color. But even in the background, I see that there's like this area here that looks white on the picture actually has, I can see like six different symbol colors that make it up. There's, it's a little bit of confetti, but it's kind of grouped together. Um, the mains, the mains are a lot of confetti type deal, but I expected that going into this. So, um, when you look at the image, and the image is basically a bunch of splotches of color, uh, you've got to expect that there's going to be some confetti involved in it, that there's no solid pieces. And that's actually kind of nice because I just ordered um, this huge diamond painting. Um, I'll actually do another video on that and show you, but it's an 80 by 150. And it's a Van Gogh story, a Starry Night, but it's only made up of 17 colors. And in, included in that 17 colors is one set of special diamonds. And the special diamonds only make up eight. And what they are, just larger pearl type diamonds that go across the canvas. So the majority of the canvas is actually done with 16 colors. So the whole bottom of the canvas and up the sides is all solid colors. So actually kind of glad to have a bit of a break with this one where it's not big solid blocks of color. So this is the canvas with the horses. I'm just going to see if I can find the drill to go with it. I know it's not that one because it's something else. I think it may be this one. This one has browns and that in it. And it is 60 by 30. I don't know if any of you can see that, if I can bring it up close enough, if we focus. 60 by 30, it's MH622-3. Okay, so I ran into a bit of a camera glitch and um, everything froze. So I have to restart uh, from where I left off. And what I was doing was I was actually showing you the drills. So just to try to focus if you can. It says it's 60 by 30 and it has a code on it. The code on it is MH622-3 which means it matches up with this canvas. Who can packs everything in one or two boxes depending on how many kits you order. So if it's usually if it's two it's all in one. If it's um, more than that, it tends to be in two boxes and things are split up. Sometimes I've got it and all the drills are in one box, the tools and all the canvases are in separate. It varies. So anyway, I'm gonna just open this up and take a quick look and make sure all the drills are here and then we'll move on to the next one. I'm gonna just try to speed this up a little bit so it's not so long. I might actually just divide the video into a couple of different um, parts just so people can pick and choose what they want to watch or how much they want to watch at a time. Uh, if you can hear that noise in the background, my dogs are running in and out of the room. I have two of them. I have a purebred border collie who's actually about half size and her name is Guinevere. I call her Gwen for short. Um, She's a beautiful red and white border collie. And then we have a border collie Ridgeback cross. And she's about 130 pounds. She's actually a very large dog, so you can hear her footsteps in the background there, probably. Um, and she's mostly black with a little bit of white. <coughs> so, okay, so let's just check. There should be 35 packages, so. I'm just going to flip these over and look at the numbers. Hooligan's very good about marking them. The first number is the number that it is on the list. Second one is the DMC code. And the third is how many drills are in each bag. So I'm just going to quickly divide this. Usually what I do if it's that number is I break it down into 10. So everything from 1 to 10 goes in one pile. 
12, uh, 11 to 20 in another, thir uh, uh, 21 to 30, and then anything above that. Just makes it a little bit faster for sorting things out. Um, that way, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, it's a little bit quicker. Oh, look, in this one, there's a white drill in there. Oh my gosh, that happens a lot. You get different color drills in with ones, and this one has a red. Surprise! I'll sort that out when I actually put them in the tray. I'll weed them out, and generally, I just kind of throw those ones in my, my junk container that I have set aside for any bad drills, although usually with Hula Can, there isn't too many bad drills. Sometimes they're kind of stuck together and that makes it a little bit awkward, but it usually isn't too, too bad. They're actually one of the better companies to order from. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I haven't ordered anything from uh, Ever Moments yet. Uh, that's on my list. It's just not in the budget at the moment. Not when I can buy multiple other canvases from a different company and instead of spending it all on one. I'm actually really impressed with this one. This is all the three times they're in there. And I know everyone makes a big deal about three tens, and I think it's just because it is the most common color I find in everything. Almost every package you get has three tens. It's very rare. I don't think I've received a diamond painting yet that hasn't had any three tens in it. And when I do, I'm probably going to cheer. But I haven't received a lot of these other colors, so that's something new. Again, there's a really dark colored drill mixed in with these lighter ones. It's, it's just funny how that happens. Uh... This is a really pretty color. It's kind of a pale, kind of sea foam color. And then there's a lot of greens. It's This is gonna be interesting. It's got so many different colors. Okay, so I got them sorted out into four piles. My one to 10, 11 to 20, uh, 21 to 30, and then everything above. So it should make it quicker for turning out. So there's package one, two, This one's upside down. Yes, that's number three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have those. So now I'm looking for eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and I guess I threw 30 in here. Yes, I did 30, 31. 32, 33, 34, 35. So all the drills are here for this. Um, I'm gonna actually match it to the actual codes on the side, but I'm gonna do that off camera because that will take longer to do. It was just a matter of counting everything to make sure that everything was in there so that I can actually go back to the seller and say, yes, I have everything. And there is, this is so weird. There's like three drills floating around in this bag. And I'm not sure exactly what bag they belong to. They're just like random, random drills. So I'm just gonna take them out, put them here. And they actually look like they belong in this bag. It's entirely possible. Mm -hmm. Nope. It looks like they belong in this one. 
or maybe they don't belong in this one at all, but <clears throat> I'll add them in and yeah, they matched right in. I can't even tell. So they belong in there. That's weird. There's a couple extra stowed away when they pack them up. It's actually kind of cool. So yes, I'm just randomly throwing these in here. It's kind of messy, but I actually have a chest of drawers that I picked up at Michael's. It's um, just plastic kind of containers that you can pull out, and there's 10 of them. So what I actually am going to do is I'm just going to throw these drills in one of those drawers. Um, once I check them again, I'm going to label them more clearly with what they go with because I've kind of folded it over and they're marking. Well, they're marking still on the outside, but just make it more identifiable. And then I can pull it out later and begin to drill it and begin to work on it. I'll generally kit something like this up because I'll work on it part of the time at home and then I'll work on it part of the time at work. And I will explain that to you in the next video if you're interested. I'm going to stop this one here just because it's getting kind of long and then I'll open the other two canvases in another video. So everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, if you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get a notification uh, when I post new videos. My plan is uh, one of these kits I'm actually going to do um, a drill with me series on it. Uh, you'll see the progress of it as it goes along and I'll tell you which one that is when um, I open up the canvas for it. It'll be just in its the right time of year to do it and then hopefully it will be complete in time for the occasion so it's one my husband really likes so kind of want to get it done again thank you for watching and everyone be safe and take care